What's up guys, this is Clean Game Reviews. Today I'm back to give you a guide for the World of Radiance banner. If you want to get the pure stats for the odds based on stone color, here they are. But if you want to get even better odds, not only do you need these numbers, but you'll also need a technique that will work exclusively with this current banner. Also, if you wonder where most of my numbers come from, they come from the formulas in my previous video down in the description. First off, it should be pretty obvious for everyone that Hero Fest is a better banner than the World of Radiance banner, but the World of Radiance banner is better than the Battling Xanner banner when it comes to odds. My second tip is to summon all green stones and occasionally red and clear. Rules for red are based on after you summon a 5 star hero in a session. If in a session you summon a 5 star hero with a .5 bonus, and also in the session there is at least 4 green stones and no more than 1 red stone, then summon the green and red stones. If in a session you summon a 5 star with a 1.5 bonus, and also the session has at least 3 green stones and no more than 2 red stones, then summon the green and red stones. If in a session you summon a 5 star with a 2.0 bonus, and also the session has 1 green and 4 red stones, then summon the green and red stones. Rules for clear are fairly similar. If in a session you summoned a 5 star with a 1.0 bonus, and also the session has at least 4 green and no more than 1 clear stone, then summon the green and clear stones. If in a session you summoned a 5 star with a 2.0 bonus, and also the session has at least 3 green stones and no more than 2 clear or red stones, then summon the green and red and clear stones. If in a summon session you summon a 5 star with a 2.5 bonus, and also the session has at least one green and four clear or red stones, then summon all the stones. Also, if there are no green stones in a session, then summon a red stone and leave the session. And if there are no red or green stones, then summon a clear stone and leave the session. And of course, if the only five star hero you want is Ike, your best bet is to only summon red stones. Just know that that strategy won't maximize your five stars. Now that I've explained my guide, let's move on to the part of my guide where I help explain the odds of stone color being a certain five star hero. First, the odds of getting Ike from a redstone are about 1 out of 40 redstone summoned. The odds of a redstone being Lucina is about 1 out of 588 redstone summoned. The odds for an Ephraim is about 1 out of 454 blue stone summons. The odds for a green stone to be Titania is about 1 out of 25 green stones. The odds for a Minerva is about 1 out of 370 green stone summons. The odds for a clear being missed is about 1 out of 36 clear stones. And to wrap it all up, the odds for Jafar is about 1 out of 526 clear stone summons. These tips and information will work, but only for this banner. So make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'll be making videos with updated numbers and guides on how to use them for the Battling Xander banner and all future banners. Like and comment below, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask.